In the previous lesson, we learned about early Southeast Asian history, which included metalworking, Indian and Chinese influences, and a few regional empires. Before we begin, make sure that you got your best score on the Early History Google Form from yesterday. Today's lesson is about what happened in Southeast Asia when Europeans arrived. The era between 1400 and 1700 is considered the age of exploration because there were advancements in sailing, medicine, and science when humans realized that the earth was not flat. Europe was leading the way in world voyages into unknown lands in a new wave of human migration. The Southeast Asian region became known as the crossroads of the world because there was so much activity in trade and shipping. More trade created demand for more resources, particularly in capitalistic Europe for things like spices and slaves. Beginning with World War I, Europe had a stronghold on colonies in the region. England, also a part of Great Britain, France, the Netherlands, and Portugal dominated. Trade was mainly one-sided though, as more Asian goods were shipped to Europe rather than the other way around. The Philippines has a complicated history of colonization. Colonized by Spain in the 1500s, any previous religious beliefs were stamped out and the culture developed as uniquely Filipino and Catholic. Many people were genetically Asian descendants that spoke Spanish. When Spain lost a war against the U.S. in 1898, the country became a U.S. territory and promised independence later. But Japan occupied the Philippines during World War II, not achieving independence until 1946. In fact, Japan occupied most of the region during World War II in its desire to conquer as much of Asia and the Pacific as possible. Remember that Japan joined a different side in World War II as compared to World War I. This time, Japan was betting that the Axis powers of Germany and Italy were likely to win. A major theme in World War II was to spread a democratic form of government and abolish communist governments. By focusing on freedom of people, the practice of colonization was under attack as people around the world questioned slavery and owning people. This sparked movements in Southeast Asia and around the world to seek independence from Europe. Your assignment today is to use the interactive map assigned in your ConnectEd digital textbook called Colonization and Independence of Southeast Asia. Make a private comment in Google Classroom that names one European country that colonized an area in Southeast Asia.